Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to add background colors and uh, use images as backgrounds for both the entire web page and uh, divs on a web page. So at the moment, um, what I've got here is just a template here, a web page written in HTML, and I have um, a CSS file here on the right hand side, which I've linked in my HTML code. And I've got a div in the body section and just a paragraph of text in the um, in the div. So it looks like this at the moment. So what we'll do first was we'll look out at how to add background colors, which we've already touched on in previous tutorials, but we'll look at how to add background color um, to the entire web page, uh, the body of the web page, and then we'll look at a background image for that. And then um, we'll move on to adding background colors and images for divs as well. So to start off with, we'll apply a background color to the body of the web page. And it's really easy in our CSS, we just say body and uh, in the curly brackets, we can say background color and we could pick any color. We could go green or maybe light green. So just making sure that we pick a color that contrasts well with our text and other elements on the page. And there we go. We've got a background color of green. Now we can also add a background image as well. And we could add a, a background image or a background color, or we can do both. And if we do both, what that means is we have uh, a background color, but then in front of that, we have an image displaying as well. And if the image didn't display for some reason, like if the file was missing, for example, then the color would show instead. So I'm gonna add a background image. And in my um, website folder here, I've actually got an image here. It's a, a PNG image, and it's just called image.png. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, let's make a bit more in there. Go ahead and say background image. Now, when we specify background image, we have to um, provide a URL or uniform resource locator, which is just a link. So a link to the actual file we want to use as a background. So we say URL, and then I have that file. It was called uh, image.png. And now if we save that code and refresh the page, uh, that's what it looks like. All right, now let's fill in the whole page here because it is a big image. But if it wasn't uh, filling the page, uh, if it wasn't a big image, then it would be tiled across the page. So the image would be repeating across the page like tiles. Now, if we look at this image, it's actually much, there's much more to the image than just the sky and the tops of these mountains. So. What we can do is we can add a little bit more code here. So we, we'll use this image, but we'll say uh, background size 100%. All right, and we can save and refresh that and, and that's how it looks now, much better. Okay, uh, if we were using a smaller image and we didn't want to necessarily make it feel 100% of the width of the page and the height, um, but we just didn't want it to tile or repeat across the page, then what we can do is say background repeat, no repeat. So that will stop it from tiling across the page uh, or repeating across the page. But in this case, it's, it's occupying 100% of the page, so that doesn't really matter. Um, now, at the moment, we've got one paragraph of text in here, but if we were to copy this paragraph, just paste it in a few times like that. All right, so we've got a few paragraphs there. We go and save and, and refresh the page. If we scroll down, we see the background color is actually still there behind the image, um, but we also see that the image uh, moves and disappears once we scroll past it. Uh, so it's not it's not staying staying still. Now, of course, this image is probably not the best to use with this text because it's not contrasting very well here. So it'd be very hard for some people to read this text or anyone to really read this text. But this is just for an example. So if we want to make this image stay still and just the text scrolls and not the image, then we can add one more line of code here. And that is background attachment fixed. So it means the background image will stay in a fixed position. So now if I scroll, the text scrolls, but the image doesn't scroll. And when I sort of scroll a bit too much, we can actually still see that color in the background. Uh, might be better 
being a blue color right now, but um, we could also just get rid of it now that we have an image there. Maybe light blue. Oops. Anyway, that, that image is there, so we don't really need the background color, but I'll just leave that code in for an example. Now, um, we can also do all of this with divs as well. So I'll just get rid of all of that text for now. We don't need that anymore. And I have this div here. And so if I want to apply a background image to div instead, I can just reference the div selector. And I might give this div um, specific size. And just like we did for the body of the page, we can we could do either background color and specify color, uh, or we can do background image and specify an image. Now I'll just use the same image again. And I can do the same thing again. I can say background repeat, no repeat. I'll do uh, background size 100% as well. Um, and we go and refresh. We can actually see, <laughs> uh, we can see the div is is um, now stuck to 100. Oh, it's 500 pixels width, uh, but the content doesn't actually fit in it, so it's kind of overflowing. All right, uh, and that's because I haven't saved the HTML, so that all that text was still there. I'll just delete this body section for now, so it's just a plain background. And there we go. We can see see the background image on that div. All right, we can uh, also, uh, if, if this image was very small and we weren't saying background size 100%, we could also set the position of the background as well. So um, like, let's say we just do, uh, we do 10%, uh, see if that's small enough. If we do this, we say background position, center, we do center top, we should see it move over to the center and the top. So um, you can also specify the background position too. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'll set that back to 100% background size because I think that looked best. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. That's how you can apply background color and background image to the body of the page and also divs. Uh, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.